Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. My prayer. Please rise up on your feet, stretch your hands here. We're about to pray. This is a very prophetic hour right now. Our time is gone, but please be patient. This is a very critical part of the miracle service where we get to pray over the requests. Just stretch your hands towards me as I agree. We have a covenant of answered prayers with the Lord. If there are still more, please bring it quickly so that we have it here. Please begin to pray and decree and declare. These Egyptians I see today, I see them no more forever. Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Please stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray. Father, God of heaven, please pray. You are receiving by faith. We are crying to the God of heaven. Just pray. name of Jesus why do we pray over our requests because the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 to be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to make our request known let your request be made known this is the most accurate representation of our desires our frustrations our constraints no matter how we prophesy we are not able to reach as many people but this is everyone's genuine desire nobody reads it this is between you and your maker but i stand in the name of jesus by the privilege of priesthood and i declare over this request that these egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever Every shame and every disappointment written here, represented here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it is turned to joy. Every closed door 
that is responsible for this request here we command those doors to be open now <laughs> father i pray and call upon you who is the god of all flesh who has sent us standing in the midst of your people i decree and declare lord let every one of these prayer requests be turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and for those who are not here but you wrote for them may the angel of the lord's presence right from this place go to their homes their nations and bring strange miracles for them please lift your hands to receive the blessing father I want you to believe right now the anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command I pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of Jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now <laughs> that before miracle service before miracle service june i decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be opened now If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of Jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the lord i agree with you in the name of jesus christ let it be answered tonight <laughs> hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of jesus go back and succeed <laughs> whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with jesus christ our passion and our hunger i'm going to make the altar call shortly but let me pray for your spiritual life you go up today you are down tomorrow you pray today then you ignore the prayer altar you study today then you ignore it the grace for consistency take that grace now grace for prayer fasting word study worship may that grace rest upon you now can we pray over favor hmm. father upon your people the proof of favor is not just money the proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men i pray for you everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names find favor with them find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ 
And everything you came with tonight as a point of contact, I declare by the Spirit of the Living God, whether it's a document, your credentials, whatever it is, I release my faith and I agree with you. Even as you have lifted it up, you remain lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shame and reproach. We call it by name and we banish it from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. What miracles are about. You know, many times when we encounter the power of God, we get healed, we get blessed. But we are unable to sustain that experience because miracles, more than supernatural acts, come with messages. And we must discern what God is saying very quickly. We must learn to discern miracles, not only to receive them, but to discern Miracles. Number one, miracles are a revelation and a confirmation of the Father's love. Revealed in and through Jesus Christ. You must understand this. Every time you see a miracle, a supernatural manifestation of the hand of God upon a life, a people, whether it comes as a healing miracle, whether it comes as deliverance, whether it comes as breakthroughs, open doors, financial miracles, liftings of all sorts. The first message behind a genuine miracle is the love of God. The apostle said the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, he called it the love of God and even the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. He says to abide with us now and forever. Jeremiah 31 and verse 3 Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3 God is unashamed about his love Here's what he says The Lord hath appeared of old unto me saying Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love Therefore with loving kindness have I drawn you If we celebrate miracles And they do not draw us to understand the love of Jesus then we failed to discern the miracles are we together the first revelation behind miracles is not just that the man of God who was used is powerful it's not just that God is powerful but that God is love and the character of love John 3 16 is that it gives for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son is not the only thing he is given. He that did not spare his son, the Bible says, but offered him, will he not much more with him? So it's not only his son he gave alone. There are many other things. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. There are benefits. Jesus is the highest of the objects, if I would use that expression, of the love of the Father. But he's not the only expression. His many kindness, mercies, breakthroughs, liftings, favors, these are expressions of his love. In a few minutes now, we're going to be celebrating the hand of God, healing people, delivering people, lifting people. But in the midst of that, more than Koinonia, more than Joshua Selman, see Jesus speaking to you. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Are we together? Romans chapter 8 and verse 35. Paul was speaking and he said, Who shall separate us? Or what shall separate us from the love of of God. He begins to list several things. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution. You know why he's saying this? Look at me. Every time we are plagued on every side, whether financially, whether in our health or whatever it is, these things have a way of speaking, speaking to our lives. If God truly loves you, why should he watch a family go through this? If God truly loves you, why should he allow your political career nose dive? Why the barrenness? Satan is expert. He knows how to use negative situations and circumstances to speak to the saints, spiting the love and the integrity of Jesus. So he says, what shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation 
or distress, persecution or famine, nakedness or peril or sword? And then he says, for your sake we are killed, we are counted for this and that. And next verse says, it says, nay, nay, in the midst of this, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Not just by enduring them, but by triumphing over them. You are not just a conqueror when you endure pain and hardship. You are a conqueror when you triumph over it. Now thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph. Are we together? In Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 18, Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus. And he had this to say to them that they may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, the height, 19, and to know the love of Christ. The Bible says that love surpasses the realm of knowledge. Are we together? The love of Jesus. The epistle of John, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1. John the apostle said, Behold what manner of love. Look at the extent of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God. Behold what manner of love. So when he heals, when he delivers, when he opens closed doors, when he opens closed wombs, when he promotes, when he silences the voice of evil men speaking over your destiny, when he overrides the naysayings of ill speakers, in it he is saying, I love you. The message is my love. More than signs, more than wonders. There's something about the love, the revelation of the love of Jesus. When you are aware that he loves you, it does something to you it takes away fear because perfect love casts out fear the moment you do not dwell in the love of jesus you are afraid could it be god's will that i'm going through this could it be god's will he does he find joy watching me go through this pain but when you know that he loves you he loves you means that he defends your interest he loves you means he insists until your life becomes a reflection of his glory. There are implications to love. Love is not an empty word. Love has consequences. It's risky to be in love. There are consequences. When you love, you give. When you love, you sacrifice. When you love, you defend. When you love, you promote. So when God says, I love you, he places his reputation on the line. I love you means I can go so far to defend you. I love you means I can go so far to protect you. I believe in the love of Jesus. If there's one person I believe is loved by the Father, I can tell you I believe I am the one. Oh yes, he loves me. So miracles reveal the love of Jesus. You walk confident, knowing that this one who is God, ancient of days, Minister Dunsin calls him Yah, is also my father and the lover of my soul. Committed to protecting me. Committed to seeing that no matter what comes my way, eventually my life will sing his praises. It's a powerful revelation. It says, for we know that all things, all things work together for the good of not Christians, them that love the Lord and those who are the called according to his purpose. Once there is love there Here's one more information about love Love never fails Say it please One more time Business people Here's a correct formula Add it to your understanding of business I think everybody wants something That does not fail There are strategies That we say never fail 
there are people we say never fail but the lord is teaching us anything that is failing in your life add love to it you have changed the equation love never fails love never fails why because god is love love never fails so when i dwell in love i am secured because i can never fail as you lift your crutch as you lift your wheelchair as your eyes open as your ears open as God restores finances supernaturally as God gives a job as God opens up doors as God connects you to your destiny helpers as God opens up your political career your business remember there are messages in those miracles so whilst you thank him for doing that thank him also for revealing his love Jesus I see the handwriting of your love in my promotion I'm still interested in you in my lifting you're a man of God here when God brings increase multiplication to you he's saying I love you when God supplies for your needs he's saying I love you are we together the love of Jesus is very powerful there are people tonight who will be saved who have never met Jesus Christ others will rededicate their lives to Jesus is a proof of his love looks like a simple message but it's powerful the absence of the awareness of the love of Jesus Christ will give room for all kinds of oppression are we blessed the second revelation very quickly miracles reveal the Lordship and the power of God miracles reveal the Lordship the Lordship Psalms 24 and verse 1 says the earth is the Lord it lists four things and it says it belongs to God Psalms 24 and verse 1 the earth is the Lord's number two the fullness of that earth that means the resources pay attention the earth the physical territory is the Lord's the fullness you can rent a house the house is the landlord's but what is inside can be your own so just because you the landlord has the house does not mean he has what is in the house so please keep that scripture there let me explain something here the bible is taking time to explain everything that is god's own on earth so that you find out when satan says something is mine you verify from this list and ask him where did that come from so the earth is the lord the earth means the rocks the wind so if he's using it for an enchantment against you you have a right to say based on what the earth the elements the elements are the lords so when you use a stone or a rock or water or any enchantments against me you are making a mistake because the, i know the owner there is a relationship there is an understanding between me and the owner get what i'm telling you you have to understand this the earth is the lords this is a manifesto here number two the fullness this earth is full of there are resources it says out of the earth comes bread the fullness the resources the natural resources this does not just mean the resources alone the opportunities that are in that place belong to god many of you do not know the older the, you don't know that opportunities are commodity in the spirit opportunities are access for a new season there is someone who holds it like opportunity like holding a card an atm card he can give men the fullness thereof the walls and then them if he owned the earth the fullness the walls and he did not own them we will still be in trouble because the them that are in the earth this human species they are the real source of most of this trouble 
So we need to know if he also has control over those men. Because there are men who are gatekeepers. They can sit down and say nobody from this family will get a job. They would have been right except for the fact that there is one called the father of spirits. Do you know what that means? Every spirit on earth is subject to his beck and call. When he calls you, you must hear him. Ask Pharaoh what came upon him after 430 years. That charm like effect on Pharaoh. He got up and said, take gold, take silver. It was a miracle enough to let them go. But God said, let me show you. That just because you own a space in my property, the earth is the Lord's. And he commanded Pharaoh, and Pharaoh gave the resources, and them that dwell there in him. Oh. Miracles validate that Jesus is Lord. The Lordship. Lordship means he's his owner. You will never get a job in Abuja. You will never get a contract. You will never get that political position. There is a way we do it. You may be right. But don't let the Lord speak. Because when he speaks. Let me tell you this. He is able to overturn. Anything you say before he speaks. You are wasting your time. Because when he speaks. If one plus one is supposed to be two, it is two only when God has not spoken. One plus one plus God is equal to the answer he puts there. Whatever he puts there, he can make one plus one plus him equal to one million. Because he's called I am. So your small efforts plus your little or no connection... Now you are adding God to it this night. You wait and see what the answer becomes. Oh yes sir. Oh that warm Jacob. Weak person. Yes you are weak. Yes from a weak family. But add God to that equation. And watch what the answer becomes. The Lordship of Jesus. Revealed through signs and wonders. You don't clap for people when things happen naturally. Do you clap for me for walking? It is natural to walk. Why should you clap when I'm walking? It's human to walk. But when an agency lifts me beyond that which is affordable as far as the world of men is concerned, then he is glorified. Many of you, by the power of the Holy Spirit this night, the Holy Ghost will pick you on a flight. And distinguish you in a way that by the time you return, when men are saying, what happened? You will also join them and say, honestly, if I tell you I know the entire calculation, I will be lying. The only thing I know is that in the midst of my effort, my confusion and whatever, God stepped in and changed the answer. You know... We just finished a series on the mysteries of the kingdom. So we are not ignorant people. We understand the laws of the spirit. However, in the dealings of God, there is space for his sovereignty. He can choose. He can choose as an act of his sovereignty to veto whatever is happening or not happening and just say I have decided that in this family I have come to them and he will lift you God is able to do that listen 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 principles are powerful and will continue to honor principles but whilst you honor principles keep a space in your mind that the God we are talking about is not a robot El Shaddai Listen, let me tell you how powerful God is. This may be the road to your miracle, the road to your result. Are we together now? And others are following it. You may follow this, sincerely believing you are right. God will take that thing and bring it here to make sure that you get it right. He does not only lead you to the right place. He can bring the right place to you. Listen, when the Bible says, for we know... 
I hope you know when you miss a road, you are in trouble. You are in trouble because of the destination. There are times God moves you to the destination, but there are times He moves the destination to you. He's still the same God. I believe this about Him. Because many of you already, if God is to turn you back from where you are, it will take another five years to catch up with where you should be. So He will take it. Whatever you would have met, He will come and put it. This is what speed is about. This is what restoration is about. The Lordship. One more time, we need to let this our arrogant earth know that Jesus is still Lord. Because sometimes, just because He's quiet, men make a lot of boastful statements politically, economically. When a great man keeps quiet, you should find out why. So God keeps quiet for many years. While people make noise and beat their chest and say, over my dead body, if anybody rises in this family. And then one day God says, are you done with your rubbish? Let me show you that I am God. He will pick the weakest and lift that person. You will not even know why you are rising. You will be finding out as you rise. Because you are not sure. You see, when others are clapping and saying, I know how I came here for you, your only answer will be your knees. To say, Lord, I can't say I truly understand how this happened. I only know I started and then I was preached by the wings of the Spirit. Listen, this is how some of us got here. There are questions we cannot answer. We replace the answer with yeah. Every time we are confused. How did you rise like this? I just know that I believe scripture. But there is a, there is, there is a complicated calculation. That I do not know. Woe betides a man who can explain everything about his lifting. It's not God that lifted you. Whether political, there must be a gap that only the size of God can fill in your story. There must be, if it's God, no matter how you calculate it, there must be a space where you will tell people, honestly, this is where I stop. I don't know how this one happened. He does it like that so that men will fear him. The sovereignty of God should not replace our loyalty to principles. But let me tell you this. The best of us in obeying these principles will still default because we are humans. So while he's watching you, his, his power is trailing you. And when he looks at you and he sees that time is going and the unit of destiny is time, he will say, son, let me pick you. And this is how he will carry you. Let me speak to someone this night already. In the name of Jesus, who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you. Please sit down. We are going to pray shortly. One area I know where only God can truly explain is the lifting of men. There is a science to wealth and prosperity. You can sit down and provide value here and there and then you just have resources. But when it has to do with lifting, the variables are many. You can do everything right and you are ready for promotion and someone says, because you are this tribe or this gender, I had a problem with your father because he died. Since he's not around, you are the one who will pay the price. And God says, who is... Who is, who is attempting to be me there? Do you believe what I'm sharing tonight? Because you see, sometimes believers become so afraid 
just because of the things men say oh you won't rise oh, oh come on we're talking god every one of us seated here respectfully speaking and i mean i do not mean to insult your pedigree in any way but every one of us seated here was once a baby in the hands of a woman none of us here is an ancient of days even satan is older than us but there is an ancient monarch he's been sitting for a very long time he has watched proud kings rise and fall he has watched humble people from their lowly estate he's lifted he has watched this thing he's seen poor people lifted in one day He's seen men in Samaria say, if God opens this window, so when God says by tomorrow, Monday, you will return rejoicing, be careful to not make the mistake that was made in Samaria. Listen to me. Believers, the God we serve is not a governor. The God we serve is not a president. And there's nothing wrong with this. The God we serve is not an ambassador of a place. The God we serve was not given land to occupy. He was not voted into power. The, you have to understand this about God. The Bible says in the beginning, not from the beginning. We don't even know what happened. When Moses was writing, he said, where do I start this from? He just said in the beginning. He couldn't have said from the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Where was he before he created them? Because he was not in the heavens, he was not in the earth. The word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations. We do not even know which one we are with respect to his blueprint. The, the devil that you are talking about, read your Bible. There was a time when he was not part of the equation. This is how genuine Bible faith comes. When you take away your eyes, for as long as you keep looking at that cancer, you are going to see a legitimate medical report. You will see testimonies for as long as you look at that financial situation. The three uncles that will help you have vowed that it's better for them to die than help you. So already you know that nobody is coming to help you there. Then you come to God and God says, please, I have spoken once. I don't speak twice. Go and hear again. The monarch. I have watched how we celebrate kings on earth. I've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few. And I am amazed at the skill and the energy that is invested. To force us to believe that they are great people. Some people can use the skill of a shout. Hail the king! And they push and flog you away no matter who you are. Clear the way for the king. Whether it's Yoruba, Igbo or in the north here. The Emirate systems. We watch the way we celebrate kings. Nothing matters when they are coming. You get out of the way or they deal with you decisively. And whilst the man is watching, they fan him. Hail the king and he's smiling. This is a human being, no? not a spirit. And we fan them. And then he looks at people and says, by tomorrow, give these people rice. And everybody is jumping because a man spoke that he will bless you. They know he's rich. They don't even know how much. Yet the man himself is still looking for money. The man himself may still be having problems in his house. But just with respect to what he has, we celebrate. Before you receive from God, find out who is talking to you. Find out who is saying, I will bless you. Find out who is saying, I will exalt you above the nations of the earth. Did he not know that visa is hard when he spoke? Did he not know that your loved ones may have gone and left you alone? Hebrews 11 and verse 6. He that cometh to him must come believing two things number one hebrews 11 verse 6 please give it to us that he is that means he exists 
Some of you are yet to be sure. This God, is he really alive? He wants to answer you tonight. Because you've been asking that thing for a long time. Number two. He exists. But he's also a rewarder. He wraps himself in life. And darkness strikes to heart. They tremble at his voice. How great is our God. Will you sing with me? How great. Abraham, come out of your father's house as a visionless idol worshiper. In awe of the Chaldeans, come, I will make you great. I will make your name great. Bless them that bless you, cost them that cost you. In thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And that farmer got up not knowing where he was going. I believe you. One step after another until he truly became the father of nations. He met a little village girl called Hadassah, wondering what to make out of her life. And she just heard that the king was looking for a queen. And the uncle said, You try, who knows? But while she was there, other women were talking about what they thought would qualify them. But she went to Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins. He said, you know the king. What does he want? And he said, do you want me to tell you? There is an oil I will give you. Rub on your body for one year. After that, you go and stand. If it has to do with the king, it cannot be natural. Let this oil smear it on yourself. And yet there was a king who built a statue of 90 feet. And said, when you hear what he passed, blow the trumpet. Everybody bow. Worship me. And three Hebrew boys said, King, we are not lawless citizens. We only have a superior revelation. When it has to do with this matter, King, you are great, but you are a great man. And they made the fire seven, seven times hotter when they jumped into it. All of a sudden they saw four men. The appearance of the fourth was like the son of the living God. Were there not three people who were here? And they came out and because of that a decree was written. A king wanted to be God, he turned into an animal. A king wanted to be God, he died and maggots came out immediately in his body. God knows how to bring men down. But God knows how to lift men up. You can choose what group you want to belong to. And let me tell you the formula. You want him to bring you down, the secret is pride. Be arrogant and refuse to acknowledge that he is the giver and the leader. And then you, he will know how to teach you a lesson there. You want lifting? There is the key to humble yourself. To humble yourself means to acknowledge. You are lifter. Every time I have the opportunity to, thank, to talk to the Lord, I, I spend my time thanking Him. And say, Lord, look what you can do with those who fear you, with those who trust you, with those who believe you. For some of you, I'm not wasting your time. We're going to pray. This is a word for you. Some of you, you came here and you think you are just a number in the crowd. But watch the God who lifts. I don't know why the Holy Ghost is speaking about lifting this night. You hear me say it again. Lifting. Do you know what it means to lift? To take you above your current realm of existence. Above your current realm of realities. If you don't believe God is a lifter, you will really suffer in this life. Because remaining at the same level is dangerous. Everything. 
thing that is alive grows. Lift her. God can lift. He can change levels. When it happens in our world, we have all kinds of cliches. We say, ah, Mr. Man, you are no longer what you used to be, oh. You are now richer or better or whatever it is. I've told you here, we don't serve God because of all these things. But to believe that He does not do them is another kind of falsehood. You are not holier than the God who wants to lift and prosper. Forever our passion is to seek Him for who He is. Not for money, not for lifting. But your Heavenly Father knows that you need these things. If you don't know it, He's informing you now that you need it. You need financial resources, brothers and sisters, at greater levels. You need lifting, you need favor. Our world is surrounded by wicked people, full of all kinds of prejudices. There has to be a spiritual advantage. It's one thing to have what to give, but until the lifter lifts you. The reason why all of you can see me is because this platform has lifted me. I will never stop at this level I am. Nobody will preach me into believing it is the will of God to remain here. No. The path of the just is as a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter. You should not come and find me where you met me yesterday. I shouldn't come and find you where I met you yesterday. Listen, let me tell you this. We are going to pray shortly. There are territorial spirits that operate in our regions. And their assignment is to make people look like the city. Have you seen people like that? They go to school, they do everything. But the same way the things are old, the same way the buildings are old, you go back to that city after 15 years, you see what you saw as a baby. No growth. And the city, the spirits in those regions turn you to become like that. Let me tell you a testimony. Many years ago, I was in this city and I took a cab. And we got talking with the man. True story. The man was driving me and I engaged him in a conversation. And he began to talk. And he, he said something that I thought was very interesting. He said, Oga, that there is a spirit in this city that makes money not stay in the hands of people. So that he went somewhere or so and someone gave him an advice. That every time he receives money he should run out of Abuja. And that now he has built a house. It was not what he was saying. I was saying, ah. So there is a spirit that can make you keep earning. 500,000 every month. And at the end of the year your life looks like yesterday. It's a spirit. A true church must preach Christ and the whole person of God, including his desire to empower men, including his desire to lift men, including his desire to bring acceleration. The only thing we need to do is to reprioritize our focus so that in the midst of it, Jesus is exalted above all. But to ignore these things in an attempt to say Jesus is above all is a costly mistake that we'll spend our lifetime paying for. But this night the lifter wants to speak. The lifter wants to lift men. And when God talks of lifting, there are forces that make for lifting. One of them is humility. The other is favor. Favor can lift. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. Then verse 17. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17. The lifting power of favor. And the king loved Esther above all the women. And she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Are you ready to pray? I made up my mind that I'm not the one who will stop any good thing God wants to do in my life. 
Lord, if you want to bless me, religion will not stop me from receiving it. If you choose to honor me, glory be to your name. My only vow is that in it you will be glorified and you will be seen. But to reject it because of foolishness and ignorance, I will not be part of that. Everything that comes from God is good, it is perfect. If it kills you, it mingles with flesh. It's not because it came from God. If money destroys you, it's not that money is bad. It's that your own renewed mind and your lack of surrender mixed with that money and it became something else that God did not give. There is nothing in itself that kills. The state of your heart is what makes any good thing kill. Prosperity does not destroy. Many people preach against prosperity for instance and yet they are looking for money. Yet they have needs. Yet they have children. We are not talking about self-aggrandizement. No. There are more important kingdom things. What of the lifting? Imagine that God lifts you now and you become captain over a parasata. Imagine how many people will be blessed because of it. You see, the moment you are selfish, you will never see a need to do more and be more. But when you become selfless, you will know that God, you have blessed me. But is this all I can be? He's anointed me and I'm grateful to him. But I continue to tell him, Lord, if ever you are looking for someone to carry a greater level of grace for the nations, you have helped me, but I still am available. I'm not available so that people will come and say, Joshua Selma. No, no. If ten people are sick and seven are healed, what if your relative is part of the three that are not healed? Imagine returning from a service. I heard you came for koinonia. What happened? I'm sorry we celebrated miracles. But I was not there. Because of those three. We will celebrate and then return back. And say Lord there is still more. There is still more. Hear me. Perhaps last miracle service you came. And you celebrated what God was doing in the lives of people. Healings and miracles. And you went back. And it didn't seem like anything happened. Now is another opportunity. But you must be very, very discerning. You must be very, very discerning. Are we together now? Discern. Make up your mind that I will not be careless. No, I will be discerning. You can be in the presence of God and it will be like Genesis 28. The Lord was in this place and I knew not. This is holding my trouser again. Praise the Lord. Are we together? When it is time to pray, you must pray from the depth of your heart. Lord, I desire more power, more grace. You have called me into the ministry of kingdom wealth. I make up my mind. Thank God for what you have given me. But I have not yet been able to give a billion naira for the gospel. I am not there. Thank God you have made me a politician. I thank you for my political career. But I am unable to serve to the degree that brings you glory in this position. Exalt me more. So your desire is now sincere. And God says for me, let's go. And while he's saying, let's go, many people are saying, be careful if you rise. We keep telling people, be careful, and the devil keeps lifting people. Who, when they go there, they force us to serve. God wants to exalt people. God wants to, if you are not interested, there are many others who are genuinely interested. As for me and my house, Lord, everything that you can give me that will bring you glory, my hands are opened to receive it, and it is for your glory. You are in ministry, refuse inferior levels of the anointing. Thank God for it, but it will only lead you to a level of struggle, one headache per year. No. You are in business. Thank God, going up and down tomorrow, balloon success, you, before you finish celebrating, you are in trouble again. You have to trust God for grace to be consistent, to enter into a Sabbath where you can become a blessing. Are we together? Yes. I vowed a vow to God that I will never lead a people who are just spiritually sound. I believe in influence. Influence is the ability to compel a territory to buy into your convictions based on the excellency of the results that come from your life. 
influence is powerful we can make jesus lifted and known through influence there are two tools that bring for kingdom advance one is evangelism enthrones christ in the heart of men the second is influence it institutionalizes god consciousness across the territory nobody will follow people without results you've heard me say that people love you but they love themselves too if you are not producing results nobody's going to waste his time and i cried to god i said lord don't send me with only a salmon the world that that needs you needs more than a salmon we need to see a demonstration of the power the grace of god ladies and gentlemen i want you to know three things number one jesus is lord number two he trained us well number three sit back and watch the wonder working power of god tonight as he heals as he delivers oh we dare to say it with every sense of confidence as touching the grace that has been given to us please rise up on your feet you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life has changed you will never be the same You will never be the same You touch me Hallelujah In one minute let your expectations rise to heaven please go ahead jesus is here jesus is lord all over the nations follow with hunger in your heart please lift your hands and pray. everyone everyone lift your voice you are lifter. This is me, oh Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2 the last prayer point and we we'll pray and the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said and the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken the Bible says Sarah conceived you don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception there are visions there are things you can carry your mind is a womb too and bear abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the lord god has spoken father as you have spoken do to me as you have spoken do to me tonight Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. 
This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. Mm. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Who is Victoria? I presume there may be many people with that name. But I want to speak to you now. Hold on please. Don't, don't run for yourself. Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna? I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We are not wasting our time. I'm hearing a name, Olushegun. Olushegun, this is a Yoruba name. Olushegun, you are wearing a short dress, a short-handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olushegun. Who is that? What's your name? Olusheru. From where? From Okuse. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage the of my friend. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God. Oh, God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama. Please lay your hand on I hope you are not embarrassed Can I talk to you I want to rebuke BP High blood pressure High blood pressure I want to rebuke it In the name of Jesus Christ Now Something is about to happen here now, Please look at me Everybody pay attention Let me explain before it happens You see The apostolic And the prophetic call if and when administered within the boundary of scripture and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense when it is administered within the boundary of scripture can work wonders and you have to be flexible when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere in as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do the dynamics of its operation the bible says there are diversities of gifts are we together now there are diversities even of operation now i confess to you the world is watching and i want to say something before i pray there are certain gifts and manifestations that god has put upon my life that I was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until I studied through scripture or in the life of day that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body but I search, search, search and I did not really find anyone I know operating this dimension of what, what is about to happen and because of that I went to scripture and then I found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days God had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the Lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and I would see light would point a particular region and the moment I announce it all the people from that region the power of God begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life I said what is the meaning of this are we together now and i'm saying that because this is what i'm seeing i'm now seeing that vision 
right now of a map and the light of God is touching Kogi State. This is what I'm saying. Listen, help them, please. You see what I'm saying? Kogi State. Kogi State. Bring them out. Kalatuski Debra Katus Theater. Kebrantos Kalibra Katus Theater. Kogi State. God is bringing deliverance. There are foundations, there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down. In the name of Jesus, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic. Here at this miracle service, call this day, doesn't matter what local government, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we arrest everything. Please don't come out on your own. Palisa Brekatushia Takara Sufia. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. These things are manifestations of the Spirit. It is to profit the believers. Hear me. Except God is not God. Everything that followed you here this night to tie your destiny, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help them, please. It must let you go now. It must let you go now. Covenant. It must let you go now. Yokes of ancestry. It must let you go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah Now There is someone here in politics The power of God is coming on you I'm not, I'm not a politician I don't play politics I'm a man of God But I love politicians I love great people I don't run away from them We are sent to minister to them but there is a politician right now I'm talking, the power of God is coming on the person Just hold the person I want to prophesy If that is a woman, just hold her I want to speak to her Because I'm seeing her climb a ladder There is a strange political door That is about to open up for her Listen, this is the house of God It's impossible to come here and return back Minister Dunsin already told us here I am that I am let me use, please just rest, you don't have to just take it easy with her. I don't know who she is, but just help her, please. That's all right. We are hold her there, please. Don't worry, you don't have to just keep her there. You don't have to lift her, just keep her there, madam. We respect you, we do not insult your pedigree in any way. It's just to speak over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I come, I use her as a point of contact. I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians. If you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason, I stand in the name of Jesus. You see, every state rises based on the king, priest, prophet formation. The king, priest, prophet formation. I declare in the name of Jesus, everyone here, Politically, may my God lift you to the next level. May my God lift you to the next level by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Ene Ojo. Ene Ojo. Is there a name like that? Ojo. What's your name? Huh? Give please, is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family. I'm speaking to you now in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. May that door be opened now. Madam, what do you do? Hold on, please. Is this mic working? Please, media, help us. I'm a politician. You're a politician? Yes, sir. I hope you're not embarrassed. No, sir. 
Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open, in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know whether, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise to a new level in your political career by the power that raised Christ from the dead. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen to me. Kingmakers never become kings, but they enthrone kings and they remove kings. It's a grace. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you. All of you who are standing here, my dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down right now. I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. It must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern. All the men, something continues to happen to them. Remember that happened to the widow at Nain? Her husband died. Her only son died. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Madam, can I pray for you? Yes. Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? Um, I'm from Kogi. I'm Zana's mother. I mean, Zana from England, the right seat. Oh, I see. God bless you, ma. You're welcome. This is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand. In Jesus' name. Help her, please. Look at this. Out of her now. Give Jesus praise. It's over forever. Mama, God bless you. You return back. Hallelujah. Sir, can I talk to you? This man on black wearing the nose mask. Please come. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you trying to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking and bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm saying. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon you. And you will rise in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. The Bible says even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But it says even the lawful captive. This is strange. There is a man of God. You are a ministry. You are going to run out now by the power of God. Just hold the person and bring the person here. You're in ministry. We're going to pray. There will be a massive deliverance here right now. Deliverance means a separation between you and the obstacle that stands your way. It doesn't have to be a spirit. It can be a mountain. Once it's an obstacle, it must go. Where is the... I just want to speak over the... I'm, I'm seeing a man of God that... It takes more than sincere desire to do ministry. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, help him. Grant him the grace to do ministry with integrity. And in the name of Jesus, look at me, sir. You love God. And I love you, but your spirit man is very weak. In the name of Jesus, strength for you. Strength through prayer. Strength through the word. Strength through spiritual exercises. Receive an impartation now of fresh grace. You will return back and the work will begin to speak. In the name of Jesus Christ. As powerful as Jesus is, he needed John to open his heavens. Even if you are a midwife, there are times that you will not be the one to give birth. You will need somebody to help you. Are we together now? Let's pray. At the count of three, 
I want you to shout the name Jesus Inside here, following online At the overflow When we shout this name We let the nations know that he is the doer of these things Now the moment we shout that name Listen to me There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down Some of you as you are standing You are representing families At this shout The fire from heaven will fall upon you Please I want you to bring them out Bring your various overflows Just bring them out Those at the balcony Please be careful so that you don't just fall from there Are we together now? Father you anointed us and you call this a miracle service. There are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage. All kinds. Bondages of delay. Bondages of retrogression. The ill speakings of people. And the Bible declares for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he may destroy the works of the evil one. Therefore Lord as we lift up this shout. The healer. The same way the walls of Jericho fell. Let everything that does not name the name of Christ give way. Are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command every power i command every force bring them out every yoke of ancestry holding god's people down in the name of jesus the son of the living god be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now my God. Therefore, God has so highly exalted him and given him a name, an office, above every other office, above thrones, above dominion. I declare every power holding you down. Bring them out. That power is this Lord now. We are still praying. Please bring them out. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos Keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Hear me. There are people here. Every time good things are about to manifest. Thank you for watching. Like our videos. Share and subscribe. Thank you.